What's up everybody? Jim Lee from Climate Viewer here with just a quick update. Um, I was in the live stream and somebody was telling me about some quakes up here and I came to look and found something interesting. Uh, we got a zero kilometer depth, British, uh, Princeton, British Columbia, zero kilometer, zero kilometer, zero and zero. So I was like, that's pretty interesting. Surface quake. Sounds like fracking to me. And then what do you what do you see when you get there? Fracking on top of a mountain. Now, let me make this full screen. Click up here. What you're seeing, I believe each of these is a drill well. It's usually what they look like. I've seen quite a few of these. Each one of these is where they drilled the ground, moved on, drilled the ground, moved on, drilled the ground, drilled the ground. Um, I wanted to verify all this. I didn't want to just put this video out and you know fill you guys full of crap. So did a little research real quick, and I want to share it with you. If you come over here and click Wikimapia, it's going to put an overlay. Lots of information here about smelter lakes, what these, what this place actually is. KBR Copper my, uh, Mountain Subdivision and let's see here power plant well anyway um, this one in particular is a big copper mine Copper Mountain Mine and I saw this it says Smelter Lake Tailing Storage Facility facility and I didn't know what that was I said what's a what's a tailing storage facility so did a little research on that and it turns out tailings are the leftovers of the mining process um, ranging from arsenic barite calcite fluorite radioactive materials mercury sulfur all the good stuff and then it says common additives found in tailings cyanide sex pax mibc sulfamic acid, sulfuric acid, all this stuff here. Great stuff. So basically all the refuse from the mine is so large that they had to put, make this big lake with a dam at the end because it's partially liquid, partially chemical sludge. And as you can see, that's pretty big, guys. I mean, really, that's, that's pretty gross. But um, <laughs> to boot, we want to prove that this is a fact. Um, fracking facility so I did a little more research on that as well details on tailings more tailings here we go coal fields and coal bed methane potential in British Columbia Let me find the slide Princeton BAM 50 NGC wells drilled, greater than 80 NGC well dr wells drilled. Um, Princeton Interior um, BC, other evaluation wells. Um, I would say the evaluation was a fail there, gentlemen. <laughs> or if we actually got past the evaluation. Uh, anyway, so guys, look into it. Um, if you know anything about you know the operations going on here, might want to report uh, to the Princeton locals that the fracking on the hill next to them is causing them to shake, rattle, and roll. 2.2s are real small. You can't even feel them. Most people probably didn't even notice it, but it's definitely a sign that things are not going well. And uh, with all of that chemical sludge right there seeping into the grounds, uh, breaking the ground up is probably not a good idea. Anyway, this is Jim from uh, Climate Viewer. Look at look out for your world guys. Report it. Hop on our forum. And if you have a uh, breaking news, put it here and uh I'll I'll help get it out there. One love.